Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Victoria and welcome to Pembroke Beauty. So today I am doing a Valentine's Day makeup. If you haven't already, you should check out the one that I will put up here. I did like a purple, sultry looking, smoky, beautiful look for Valentine's Day as well. So if you haven't seen that, you should definitely check that one out, especially if you are a purple lover. Um, but today I think that I'm going to do something more like, I guess, classic and do kind of like warm tones, reds and pinks and stuff like that because I feel like I don't do those very much because I feel like everybody does them. So I hope you enjoy. If you haven't already, you should subscribe and you should click the bell so you get notifications every single time that I upload. Okay, so I'm first going to show you something that if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. Um, I want to show you guys this because I may or may not use it on film, but I just wanted to give it a shout out. How absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. And so you hit the little thing. Ah, and it's a little compact mirror. And I don't know that you can see it, but maybe you can right here. It has my name engraved in it. Do you see? Like how beautiful is that? So thank you so much Starfire. If you guys haven't checked out Starfire, you should. You should check out these mirrors. They just came out with three designs. And so this is the ruby one and you can get it customized with your name and stuff like that. So definitely check it out if you haven't already. I'm going to first start out with my face. I may regret that, but I'm going to do it. And so I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Concealer in Light Ivory. And I'm just going to put this right underneath of my eyes, right where I have like the most darkness. And on top of any pimples that I may have. And I'm pretty much just doing this to color correct. This is not light enough for me. I have like a weird pimple right here. Oh man, I forgot to moisturize. Dang it. This is not light enough for me to full on conceal and highlight with, but this is just the right color for me to cover up some dark circles, give a little bit of extra coverage to those spots, so. And now, since I forgot, I'm going to go in with the Yes to Carrots Nourishing Fragrance Free Moisturizer. And I'm going to put this all over my face because I am dry. Holy moly. Like, that's why I'm using so much because I actually need it. It's ridiculous right now how dry I am. Um, honestly, my face and my skin is so dry everywhere. It's been like bouncing between really cold and really warm. I'm sure it's been doing that to you guys as well. Got some of my hair. And I just, I, ugh. It's drying me out. Whatever excess I have, I'll just drag down my neck. Usually I like to kind of brush my eyebrows up like that, just so that they're kind of in place to where I want them, even though they won't stay like that. I just feel like it makes it easier for when I actually go to do my eyebrows for me to get them to stay like that. Now I'm going to go in and highlight, and I'm gonna go in with the CoverGirl Clean Matte Concealer in Fair, which I believe is their lightest shade, so. That makes sense. I think because of the weather, my skin has been a little rough recently, so it's looking a little, a little worse for weather, to be honest with you, right now. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of spot concealing, which is fine, but. Beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to set my face with the Pretty Vulgar, the Powder Room Matte About It. <laughs> Setting powder, obviously. So I'm just going in with this Morphe Beautiful in Bronze brush, and I'm just going to tap some out of here. It's always a dangerous game. And I'm just going to set my face. Typically I set my eyes first because that will be the first place on me that will crease. And then I will go to my forehead because that crease is next. So if you think that you created creases, just tap them out and then set it down so that nothing is creased. If you set a crease, it will still stay creased. So definitely think about that when you are setting your face. If you have creases already, you will not be able to set them and get rid of them. You have to blend that out before you can set it. So recently I have been really liking doing this method of doing my face and 
how it goes is you actually do your highlight first. So I'm going to go in with a highlight that I just bought from Ulta actually. It is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Flexitarian. So absolutely, I am so excited because of all the hype I've heard about this product. I have been using it, but I haven't been like applying a ton because I haven't been doing stuff that requires that. So I'm just gonna go in with my finger and just put this all over my cheek. Yeah, you can see that. That's beautiful. So it's really light, um, like kind of champagne. I appreciate that a champagne is not like gold. It's a good mixture of both gold and silver. Okay, so I think that's really beautiful. And so I've really liked doing this recently because I just think that when you, like sometimes when I have all my blush and bronzer and stuff like that on and then I put highlighter over top, I feel like I almost get like a line and it's hard for me to blend that out. And so I think by doing this first, it ends up giving you a more blended look on your face. And so I'm going to put more highlight over top after I do everything, but I am able to put less. So it's less of a hassle for me to blend it out. Does that make sense? I'll show you. So I'm now going to go in with this <laughs> horrible looking Pure Sculptor palette. And so that is what it looks like. Please excuse how dirty this is. I, I know it's gross, I know. It's really bad and I'm sorry. Don't judge me. So I'm going to go in very lightly because these are dark for me right now. I'm gonna go very lightly into Inventor on this e.l.f. brush that I usually use to bronze and I'm just going to carve out my cheekbones really quickly. Yeah, like that's intense. Okay, so now that we've contoured a little bit, I'm going to move into my actual bronzer and I'm going to use the Positions Formula Butter Bronzer and I love this stuff. Again, this, uh, so good. So this I'm going to blow out a little bit more than I did with the last shade because this is going to be a bronzer. This is going to be used to actually warm up the face. So now that I've like sculpted I guess the face, I'm going to go in and um, clean up the bottom of our contour. So I'm just taking an excess amount of that setting powder and I'm just going to go from like the middle of my ear to my corner of my mouth. And I'm also going to clean up under my eyes a little bit. So a good trick is to make the little fishy face and then it just carve out right underneath of that. And that should clean up that contour and give you more of like a look. You know what I mean? So now I'm going to go in with blush and I'm going to go in with the Note Desert Rose blush. And in with this Tarte Mermaid um, do a fiber brush. And I'm just going to gently A little bit on my nose and then when I have less on the brush I'm just going to gently blend I like to kind of bring it around my entire face as well kind of like an additional bronzer almost just when there's very little left I think that it makes the face look really pretty and just warm and and really nice so yes now that we've done that I'm going to just gently add a little bit more highlight and then we will call it today. So I'm going to go in with the originator, the originator of this lad. And I'm gonna go in with this elf brush and I'm just going to gently put a little bit right on the top of my cheekbones and a little bit onto my brow bone. The shimmers and the powders really in this entire pure set our palette is really 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 nice. I was very pleasantly impressed with how well they blend out and how well <gasps> how shimmery they are. Like look at that. Ugh. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on my body too because why not. So another thing that I've really been liking doing recently is just going in with a gigantic brush with nothing on it and just gently blending from the center of my face out and I just think that it really makes the face look very blended and beautiful and just really seals the deal with everything and so recently I've really liked doing that so I'm just doing that now 
and I just think that it really like gets rid of any excess powder you may have and really just blends all the seams if you have any in and it just really cleans the face up and makes it look really smooth and beautiful obviously you don't use a lot of pressure here I'm like just barely brushing my face that's all you got to do don't add pressure or else you're gonna move product that you don't want to move okay day so now I'm gonna bring you a little closer okay so now I'm going to go in with my NYX professional makeup tinted brow mascara in chocolate and I'm just going to brush this through my brows as per usual. So this is what the face looks like right now with brows and that's about it. So I'm really pleased. As you can see, everything looks very blended, at least in my opinion. I think everything looks pretty blended and I think that it makes your pores look small um, and like blemishes I think we look pretty good so I'm very pleased um, again I will say that this using this brow product is not something that you want to do unless you already have brow hair <laughs> that seems obvious but just in case you were thinking about it if you are somebody with very very thin brows like you don't have much brow hair maybe you over plucked um, and you have been doing that for years and you're kind of regretful that is probably not the product you want to use you probably want to use some type of pencil um, I've never used one but I'm sure you can find one I know that elf has some I know NYX has some essence has some um, and then up higher up brands too so whatever you want um, I know lime crime has the bushy brow I think that that sounds like such a cool idea I do want to try that one day um, but so using that in tandem with that brow mascara is probably the best idea if you do have thin brows but for people with like reasonably sized brow hairs and stuff like that um i think that this is such an easy natural but still like full looking brow that it really is complementary to your face so if you were looking for that brow that's the brow product to use now we're going to jump into something even more exciting and it is a product that I've never used on camera and I've only used once in person. So it is this. It is the Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow uh, HG Palette. So you can see like the reflectiveness of this um, and it is the Holy Grail Palette. So this is the inside of the palette. Obviously you get a mirror and these are the shades within. So how actually beautiful is this? I can't even, this is like if you are a warm tone type of girl, this is your dream palette. So like I said, I've only used this maybe once and I really liked it and I figured this would be like the perfect Valentine's Day palette. Do you not think? I think. So I figured I would do a look using this today just for you. So I'm going to jump in. I'm going to First, go in with my beautiful and bronze Morphe brush. I'm gonna go into Thanks A Latte, which is just like a really good skin tone, creamy shade. And it's such a cute name, I really like that. And I'm just going to set this all along my lid and just use this as a base shade, really. So you won't see this, I can barely see it in person, so you probably definitely won't see it on camera. This is just a really pretty matte shade to set the lid and like say I hadn't already set my concealer this would be the shade that I would use. Now I want to go in with the shade Transition I think and so obviously could you guess what we're going to use it for? A transition. So this shade is very warm it is like a warm tone brown it has a little bit of terracotta in it it's almost a little orangey toned and I'm just going to place this into our crease and just gently blend this out. I want this to be very blown out. I'm not trying to be very precise. I'm just putting this all throughout our crease as a transition shade for other darker shades that we will layer on top. So again, this shade is not as pigmented on the eye as it looks when you pick it up on the brush, which is actually good because I was a little scared that it was going to be a little much. Um, However, it is blending out beautifully. This is the first and only Violet Voss palette I own, so I haven't really gotten a chance to play with their shadow formula much, but so far I really like it. I think that it's really beautiful, 
and very, very easy to blend. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this transition shade underneath my eye as well. So now I'm going to go in with a more dome shape brush from that same Morphe Beautiful in Bronze set. And I'm going to go into the shade Bestie right here. And this is more of a slightly cooler tone transition shade. Like if you added a little bit more gray to transition, you would end up with Bestie. And so I'm just going to place this pretty much again in our crease, keeping it a little bit more intense and a little lower in the crease. Just trying to build up depth. And then with very light pressure, I will pull it up into where we put transition and blend that in. Again, keeping this a little closer to our lash line on the bottom lash. And then wiping off a little bit from the first brush we used and really just blending this all together. Blowing it up into the um, brow bone. So sticking with the dome shape brush, I'm going to go into a little bit of Are You Kidding Me? And I cannot with how cute that is. I'm just going to dab into that. Again, this is a matte shade. It is slightly more deep than Bestie, but it kind of has the same tone. And again, doing the same thing, keeping it low in the crease and patting it out on the outer corner, dragging it in. This can get on the lid. We're not stressed about the lid. It's totally fine. Do what you gotta do. Okay, so right now we got a pretty matte eye going on. I think that it's really beautiful. This is what we're looking like right now. I'm thinking I wanna take my um, Morphe Beautiful and Bronze pencil brush and I'm gonna go in to Wine and Dine, which is this beautiful, it's so pretty and so pigmented. So be careful with the shade, definitely um, tap off the excess before you go in. It is just a beautiful berry shade really um, with, it's almost like a cherry, like a blackened cherry shade. And I'm just going to gently place this right out here and into our crease. But So I'm gonna do super small circular motions right out here on the outer corner keeping it very low. I would want to make this pigmented, but I don't want it to get everywhere because we did our face first. And I'm just going to gently drag the tip of this brush into the lower part of our crease. Do you see how I'm like literally keeping my eye almost limp, if that's a good word to use? Packing it and then slightly closing our eye and letting it just sink right into the socket, right into the crease there. That will keep this shade from getting too wild and out of control. So we are not looking to get super blended right now, we are just looking to get the shape. So get the shape that you want and we will go in with another brush in a minute. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this very, very close to our lower lash line. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this, what is it? It is a Luxie 121 mini tapered brush. And this is very small and I have nothing on this brush, okay? That's key. And I'm just going to gently drag this along the edges of where we have that purpley, pinky, reddish shade. So gently doing little windshield wiper motions right here along the edge, very gently. You don't want to get too crazy with how like wide your windshield wiper motions are because Wherever you take that color is where it's going to end up because the shade is so pigmented. So unless you have done your eyes first and you're planning to do your face second, which you can totally do, you want to be careful with where you're putting this. So I want this to be like a cat eye shape, so that's why I like pulled it out that far. If you don't want that, then don't blend it like that. Does that make sense? Blend it more in a circular shape if that's the shape you're going for. Okay, so now I'm going to re-intensify that red shade, uh, which seems counteractive, but I'm going to go back into it and just add some more depth since we blended a lot of it away. Focusing really, really close to our um, outer corner and in our crease, very low. You don't want to get this crazy, like I said. You want to avoid touching those pretty blended ed edges that you just put in. So definitely use a very light hand. I'm like putting little to no pressure at all out here. And going back in a little bit with this brush, the 121 mini tapered brush. So now that I'm content with the pink shade or the wine shade, I guess, 
I'm going to intensify the outer corner right out here with some teddy bear. So this is a very cool tone brown actually, but it's very deep. So it's kind of like a coffee color. And I'm just going to gently put this right here, right really, really low. Okay, so my computer froze. So I figured I would just finish this eye and then I will show you this eye. So obviously this is the goal and I think that it looks beautiful. It's like a chocolate cherry and I think that it's really, really pretty. So like I said, I'm gonna go into Teddy Bear and I'm just going to get that onto my pencil brush and gently start pushing this into our outer V right here. Doing little packing motions and little circular motions, dragging it onto the lid. I don't wanna bring this above where we have our red blended or our berry blended. And as you can see, I did blend this into our crease a little bit. I drug that all the way in and I think that it looks really pretty. So. I'm just going to do that a little bit more. This shade is incredibly pigmented and it is not patchy at all, which I really appreciate. Sometimes shades like this can get kind of patchy, but this one is not like that. As you can see, it's very, very pretty. And I did not drag this along our lower lash line yet, but I'm going to do that here in a minute. I'm going to go back in with this brush right here, the 121, and I'm just going to gently blend this along. I have not added any excess product onto this brush. I'm just gently dragging the colors that are here into one another. So yes, I think that this is really pretty. I'm going to, it's very dramatic. <laughs> I'm going to push this along our lower lash line. So now that we are done with the dark shades, this is what it looks like up close. So now that I have my Lottie London brush, I'm going to go in to um, On Fleek, I think. And this is just a really pretty, like, kind of cranberry-ish, goldish shimmer shade. And I'm going to place this on, like, the center of our lid. Okay, so that I'm using dry and it is incredibly pigmented. So I'm actually gonna pull this all the way into our inner corner and just do our whole lid in it because it's just really, really pretty and I think it will be a good backsplash to the idea I have going on in my little brain. These shimmers are really, really, really good. Really good. And as you saw, the mattes behaved very nicely too. They blended on top of each other well. There was no patchiness. It was very easy to blend. There was no like weird um, behavior as far as they go. They were all very pigmented and easy to use. So thank you, Violet Voss. So now I'm gonna drag a little bit of this on my lower lash line. Okay, and now my idea is to go in with the ColourPop, the double rainbow set. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, which is called Roy G. Biv. And I'm going to, this is like a really pretty rose gold. It's so metallic and so beautiful. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this on my Lottie London brush, and I'm just going to pack this right on the center of our lid, just for an extra oomph. Kinda of like we're making a halo eye, but almost not, but similar. That just adds an extra like, hint of shimmer and I just think that it's really really pretty okay so I have now applied my lashes and I'm going to do mascara now I'm gonna go in with the Starfire limited edition mascara and I'm just gonna put this on my top and bottom lashes now, if you don't want to use lashes, you absolutely do not have to for this look. I think that you could get away with not doing any, and you could just do a lot of mascara and call it a day. Because you're not using liner, it will be easier for you to not wear lashes. I think, I think a lot of times when I wear liner, it makes me feel like I have to wear lashes because my lashes aren't super, super long. So if I don't wear lashes, you probably won't really see my eyelashes at all when I have liner on. Comment down below if you want to see an in-depth um, lash tutorial, like how to put fake lashes on. If you want to see that, definitely give this video a thumbs up and comment down below because I can do that for you. I just don't know if that's something you guys want to see. Um, also, if you want to see like in-depth versions of a bunch of stuff, like if you wanted to see how I contour and stuff like that, 
and have like a mini tutorial just on that and we'll go like super in depth and detail about it we can do that too just let me know what you want to see down below what i really like about this mascara is it makes my lower lashes look so good it makes them look so long and elongated and full and it really separates them and i hate when your lower lash line is clumpy i hate that I really think that that just like really finished off the look. I think that adding mascara always makes things look better. I'm going to add a little bit of ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Honey Dude, which is just this nude liner. And if you want to use white, you can. Actually, if you wanted to use black, you can too. I'm going to use a dark lip, so I didn't want this to be so like dark on dark on dark. Not that I'm opposed, but you know, some people don't like that. So I figured I would do um, something. It is still dramatic on the lids, don't get me wrong, but it, it won't be so dramatic. But if you add black, you will add that extra bit of drama, which absolutely feel free to do. See, like, do you see the difference? It's very slight, but this just really opens the eyes a little bit more compared to this, don't you think? Oh, so I meant to ask you guys this. So, would you want me to do a brats tutorial? I know that that has been going like viral on the internet and I was thinking for a long time about doing it and I was kind of like, should I do it, should I not do it? I don't really know, like, mm. so let me know down below if you want me to do that um, and I can do that. I have um, loved brats for forever and I actually was a brat for Halloween one time when I was like eight, so, who was the original brat doll? Um, but anyway, I should insert a picture of that if I can find it. But I was really, really cute. And uh, my mom did my makeup and my lips were like gigantic. And it's really funny. So if I can find it, I'll insert a picture of it. And so let me know down below if you would think that I should do a brats recreation. Because I think that would be really fun. So just let me know if you want to see that. Okay, so now I'm gonna highlight my inner corner and my bra bone. So I'm just gonna take this e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Ploof, which I think is kind of a funny name. And it's got a little hint of pink in there, but it's very light. And I'm just gonna place this right here on my inner corner. Ah, so this is actually darker than I thought it would be. So I'm just gonna put this down, I guess, as my base shade. And then I'll add some highlight over top. The pigment is still really pretty. I'm going to go into Crystal now, which looks like it's not as shimmery, but it is lighter. And I'm going to put this on my inner corner. So this is definitely a little bit lighter. I'm just going to gently blend this out. I think that's really pretty. Yeah, it's really nice. I'll place a little bit of this on my brow bone. Yeah, that's really pretty. Ooh. Okay, and now time for lips, and then we will set our face, and we are done. So I'm going to go in originally with the Phoenix Red Retractable Lip Liner, and I'm just going to align and fill in my lips with this. Okay, so there is that, and now I'm going to go in with the Starfire Classic Lipstick in the shade Aquila, Aquila, I still don't know how you say it, but I love this shade, so. I did a full lip swatching video for these, like look how stunning that is, for these on my Instagram, so if you don't follow me, follow me, go check it out. I really love all of them, they're really beautiful, so. It might be a little too red, so maybe, I mean, I think it's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but I think with the eyes, it's a little too red. Yeah, I think I need a little bit more purple, so let me look really quickly. But, okay, can we take a minute to acknowledge how beautiful this is? Like, that's a stunning red. <sighs> look at how white it makes my teeth look. Okay, so obviously I took my hair down and, um changed my shirt but I decided that I thought it would be good to add a gloss and so this is the this is the NYX butter gloss which I love and this is in the shade angel food cake and it has a little bit of a pinky like purpley mauvey tone and I think this this will push this lipstick a little bit more towards the pinky side which is where I want it to be
Yeah, I think that's really good. Okay, perfect. Let me set my face and I'm going to set my face with my current favorite setting spray, the Catrice Prime and Fine Illuminating Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. So I wanna give you guys a heads up for this because I was a little like, ugh. Um, this smells <laughs> not the whole time. And so like when you just like, you don't smell anything. Um, and so then you spray it on your face and you go to take a breath to like just, you know, breathe as we do. And you're like, what is that? I don't know what it is. It doesn't smell like horrible, but it's kind of like, um, I don't know how to describe it. It's almost, it almost smells like it's burning, which it doesn't feel that way. It feels really good on the skin. It makes your skin look really, really, really nice. So don't get me wrong. I still love it and I will buy a new one when I run out of this one. That's how much I love it. But it does definitely have a strange smell. So just be aware of that. Um, so I'm just gonna spray myself. It almost smells like hairspray and burning hair. So like when, when you spray your hair with hairspray and then you use a curling iron on it, that smell, that's the exact smell. That's what it is, 100%. That's the smell that you smell when you kind of spray this on your face. Which like I said, it doesn't last. It doesn't smell like that after it dries. You don't smell anything. It's like nothing ever happened. But I will tell you that when right after you spray it and you're like trying to fan yourself that's what you smell so public service announcement i am super sorry that i didn't have a video out last week i had a lot of computer issues i'm still having some but it is getting better so i'm hoping that it won't be an issue anymore but i did a poll on my instagram which you should follow and I wanted to see if, like last year, I did a tutorial where I did like my makeup, my hair, and I showed you my outfit and everything um, for Valentine's Day. And I really, really liked that video. And I think a lot of you did because I did a poll on my Instagram asking if you would want me to do another one this year. And a lot of you said yes. So if you were one of those, I would love to do one as well. But honestly, judging by the time that I will have before Valentine's Day, I probably won't be able to do that for you. And I'm really sorry. So what I'm gonna say is I'm going to, I'm thinking that I will instead, because I don't think I'll be able to do it on here. I might be able to do it a like um, video thing on Instagram. So if that's the case and you guys are interested in that, then definitely, definitely follow me on Instagram and keep an eye out for that because I do want to do that. I really, really liked doing it last year. I thought that it was really cute and like just a really fun way to show you like how to do a whole, the whole shebang. So and watching people, I don't know. I just really like watching that, so I assume that people do as well, and you guys seem to. So if you are interested in that, then definitely check out my Instagram. And I'm sorry. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, you should subscribe and comment any suggestions you have for me down below. I really appreciate you watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful Valentine's Day and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Ah. Sorry, I have to clean off my brushes because they're filthy. Filthy! And this is used, this is used. So this is gonna be used to actually. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it just fell, it's my death. Jesus Christ. Mm.